Hey there, this is That Name is Superhero. Welcome to this brand new LP of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Red Nurse Mystery. Game of Advance! Goodness, I have recorded the intro probably four or five times now because it just lags so much, but I can't do anything to stop it, so I'm just gonna let it go and I'm gonna speed it up and editing it's gonna be great, so that's, yeah, that's my start button. There's gonna be some serious lag going on, but you know what? I can live with that. Welcome! This is the portal that leads to the world of Pokemon! But before I can let you through, I have several questions! I want you to answer them sincerely. Are you ready? Okay, let the interview begin! Oh Alright! This is how you get your starter cho Pokemon chosen, which Pokemon you're going to play through throughout the game. So, let's go ahead and answer these. Do others often call you childish? No. Are you a cheerful person? Do you have a cheerful personality? Are you a cheerful personality? I would say so. Do you dream of lounging around idly without much excitement? And you... My dreams are... My dreams are weird. Is there a person you like? There's no opportunity to get close. Ready to collect my love. I say hello. Pull up prank to get attention and look from afar. Hmm. Uh, I might say hello. I think that's the one I'm going with. A delinquent is hassling a girl on the busy city street. What will you do? Some of these questions are really funny. I, I don't know, that's just me. Help with that hesitation. Help, yeah, help with that hesitation. That'd be me. You come across a treasure chest. What do you do? No, it could be a trap. Oh, I'm gonna open it. It's great. <laughs> do you hate to be the last person to leave class at the end of a school day? No, not at all. I'm often, I'm, I often, firstly, am the last person to leave class at the end of school day. You, the feeling that you've slowed down lately? Actually, yes. I, I've lost my mojo over the last few days. I'm, I am a girl, thank you. So I'm. Um, yeah. The brave type? Oh, I got. I always get the brave type. That's okay though. You have a strong sense of justice. You hate evil. You will take on any opponents. You are truly a hero. Go forth! For justice! For peace on earth! Fight the forces of evil! If I'm wrong, work at becoming a true. A brave person like you should be. Pokemon Charmander! This is the final step. Who would you like to have as a partner? Now, yeah, choose the Pokemon you want to be in being in. I usually always pick Pikachu, and that's. So, Pikachu. What is your partner's nickname? Well, I'm gonna name him Wyatt because I like that name. That name and I have some, uh, have some history. There's a button. Bam! There we go. Is the name Wyatt okay? Indeedy. Okay, we're all set. Let's get you into the world of Pokemon. Go for it. Now, when I play Pokemon, I usually always pick the, the fire starter, so I get really happy when I get it in in uh, in uh, in Mystery Engine. Where am I? Am I dreaming this? I feel a pleasant breeze. I hear a voice from somewhere. I wonder who it is. Excuse me. Please, wake up. Come on, wake up. I'm just taking a nap, bro. Chill out. Me, my blue eyes, my charming eyes. You have a lizard. You're finally awake. Great. Where is this? You were passed out here. I'm glad to see you awake. I'm Wyatt. Glad to meet you. Yeah, Pikachu. I love Pikachu. And you are? I've never seen you around here before. Huh? You're a human? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a human. What does it look like? <laughs> you look like a normal Charmander in every way. Oh my god, I'm a lizard. Although, technically, I suppose... Well, no, I'm not a dragon. I'm a lizard. <laughs> Charmander's no dragon type. <laughs> True. I have turned into a Charmander. But I don't remember anything. Um, <laughs> you're kind of weird. Man, I'm just special, okay? Your name? What's your name? My name? That's right. My name is. Well, 
technically, since I am a nameless superhero, as my username suggests, I have no name! <laughs> but I'm gonna plug in one for the sake of the LP, so. Odessa! Yay! Okay, here we go. Yes, indeed, the name Odessa is. Oh, Odessa is your name? Well. It's a funny name! Well, screw you, Pikachu! <laughs> Why? Whatever your name is that! I like, I like that name! Somebody, please help me! Huh? I hear shouts from over there. Ugh, <sighs> oh, Butterfree just wanders onto the screen because we can see her out otherwise. What's wrong? Butterfree! Oh, <laughs> sorry. It's horrible! My Caterpie, Caterpie fell into a cavern, my poor baby! What? Butterfree. I keep saying Butterfree! A huge fissure opened in the ground and my Caterpie fell in! He's too young to crawl up by himself. When I went to get my baby, Pokemon suddenly attacked me! Huh? You were attacked? By other Pokemon? Isn't that kind of the thing? They must be enraged by the fissure and out of control! That's what I think. I'm not strong enough to fend off those wild Pokemon. What will become of my baby? Oh, what am I to do? Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, you couldn't be asking us for help, could you? It sounds bad. We have to go help. Yeah, if only I could get rid of this goddamn lag. That'd be so great. Tiny Woods, basement floor one. Basically, this is what well, the head for the destination while attacking foes with A. Try not to let a partner faint. Oh, that lovely lag. Oh, Pokey is. Oh yes, tutorials. Yes, the money. Yes, I'm aware. That is money. Okay, let me see if I can fix this. Oh my goodness, the lag is awful. Why? Why lag? Why? Why lag? Actually, let me try. Let's see if that didn't fix it. But... Ugh. I'll do what I can. I can't really do much about it now. I'll do what I can to fix it, I guess. Foes won't move until you do. Open the menu with B and think before you act. Yes! So basically, this entire game is we run around in dungeons like this, looking for stuff. Extremely slowly. See that red dot on the map right there? That's an enemy. The Wormpole, in fact. Bring it. Bam! Now, as, as a, the lovely tutorial said, pressing the B button brings up the menu. Now, the moves I have, I only have Scratch and Growl, and Scrawl won't do damage. I could set it, but I don't think I can like it. Ha! Bam! No, come on, Visual Boy, you never gave me this lag with with Mario Luigi. Although, regular hit, but 10 or so damage. Why, help me out. And... Bam. Oh, I wish this lag would stop. Anyway, if you pull down the B button, it'll let you, let you move faster. It'll only move you up to... Well, it'll automatically stop you when you get to a door or an item or a, or a stairs, anything that you can interact with, really. Bam. Now, Tiny Woods is only three... Pick up the monies. These are stairs, obviously. Uh, Tiny Woods is only three levels down. So... Actually, four. Sorry. Four. It's got three levels we can, we can move on. Your team regains HP as it moves! Oh my god, really?! And and level four is what we'll find. Gotta be. Hello. Ex no, you're not execute. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're execute. I'm thinking of something else. Oi, oi. Ah, goddamn. My sleep. You get it. You know, there we go. You can attack that wormhole. It's pretty great. Oh. Yay, leveled up. Why I learned tail whip? Oh my god, really? Alice, I leveled up. Why? Yeah. It does this every time, it's so... <laughs> Your partner will always level up faster than you do. I don't know why. You just do. <sighs> Yay, okay. Now, I'm gonna go to my moves, and I'm gonna click select on scratch and set it. No, that's the start button, obviously. There's select. That sets the move. Now, we click L and A combined to do the move automatically. Thank you for assuming the part of the position. Oh, I leveled up! Oh, hooray! The flame of my tail grew bigger too. HP went up by three, attack went up by two, defense went up by two. 
Yay! And now we kill the Sunkern. And we're good to go. Pick up the Orenberry. It's gonna give us a lovely tutorial on what Orenberries do. An Orenberry restored HP. Open the menu. You can select another item. Oh, my goodness. Pick up that one too. Oh, right, I forgot I don't have the toolbox yet. <laughs> Alright, okay. Because eventually we'll, we'll be able to carry more than one item. But since I can't do that just yet... It's alright. There are the stairs. Ah, what the hell? Thank you. Let's go get that Caterpie. Bam! Here's a little baby. Wow. <laughs> Mommy, where are you? Oh, sniffle. Sniffle, sniffle. We came to rescue you! Plus one. Huh? Your mom's waiting. Let's get you out. Okay. You know, for a boy's voice, Wyatt, I keep giving you a very high pitch. Or for a boy's name, Wyatt, I give you a very high pitch voice. My baby's safe. I'm sorry. I don't know how I could ever thank you properly. Oh, that's okay. It has been dangerous lately with sudden quakes and fissures like that one. It was great to find your little boy unharmed. Please, may I have your names at least? I'm Wyatt. Yeah, yeah. And this is Odessa. Cool. He's, uh, staring at me adorably. With sparkly eyes. It's a little embarrassing. <laughs> but this doesn't feel bad either. It's like I'm a hero. It's like I'm. Uh, yeah. Having Pokemon in trouble would be a good experience. I don't know why I've suddenly got that suave. You know, Thank you, Wyatt and Odessa. Mr. Spock. <laughs> I don't know. I know it isn't really enough, but it's the token of our thanks. Please accept it. Odessa's team received the promised Orenberry. Promised? What? You didn't promise me Jack. Also received Petraberry. Those are nice. The team also received the item Rossberry. Ooh, lovely. Petraberry uh, heals poison and Rossberry. Thank you very so much. Bye. Another Petchaberry. Resort and does poison. Not important at the moment. Thank you for helping. You're very tough. We're sure impressed. So, what are you going to do? Do you have any plans? Well, you know, being a lizard and all, I'm just gonna hide under a rock. This is it. You can't have you hiding under rocks. You can come stay at my house. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best to fix the lag. I think it might just have to do with the storage on my computer. It's just not enough to run everything at once. Well, this is the place, because I literally, I have fraps running and my emulator, and that's it. So, I will uh, definitely try my best to have this fixed. I can't make any promises, though, because my computer is a finicky bastard, so. Sorry, sweet. Hold on. Anybody? It's a nice little house. A little hut. Wow. I can't explain, but I'm happy. I'm a human being, but I like this place. I feel weirdly really happy. There might be an instinct, an in instinct thing for Pokemon. Maybe this is what it feels like to want to wag your tail. You a dog now? You no. Know? Doesn't matter. I'm happy. Lillipop, you know. There aren't in this game. Maybe, a, maybe a few the way I'm gonna have Charmander. Oh, Dessa, you're impressed, aren't you? I thought so. I thought this would make a good place for you to live, Dessa. Better than that rock. If sh I was sure you'd like it. You know, the music sounds kind of funky. This is your mailbox. Thank you! Oh my god, they deliver mail? Put them in the mailbox? Oh my god! You know the fissure that Caterpie fell into? For some reason, there have been many natural disasters lately. Because of those disasters, many Pokemon are suffering. I want to help Pokemon in these tough times. I want to help change things so all the Pokemon can live in peace. So, uh... Well, I like how you handled yourself when we rescued Caterpie. Would you like to join me in a rescue team? Oh, they're gonna ask me on the date. Dessa, with you, I think we could become the world's best rescue team. How about it? Of course! Why not? Perfect! That's it then! I'm pouring tea, you might hear words. You might hear. Hear me pour my tea! My partner is in our rescue team from now on, Odessa. Glad to have you on board. The team name. Well, I don't have one yet. 
So, Odessa, what do you think will be a good name for us? Oh, right as I'm pouring tea. Okay, just gonna fix that. Okay, there we go. Well, I, again, I am a nameless superhero. And no, we're not gonna be Team Pokemon. That's just, uh, uh, no. So what we're gonna do? Yep, indeed. Team Superhero. Ha-bam. Team yeah. That's how it's going down. <coughs> superhero! I like it. It's a good name. It's perfect for us. yo yeah, yeah. Rescue Team Superhero. Let's, get, let's do good starting tomorrow. Just slowly pan around. Oh my goodness. The lag is hilarious. <laughs> and that is how... Odessa and Wyatt began their careers together as a rescue team. And we're back on the title screen again! Yay! Take a quick sip of tea. Oh, game, can we hurry on, please? I know you're lagging and everything, but thank you. The next morning. You see that text a lot, trust me. It's me in my hut. It's pretty great. Fun fact though, I actually own this game. I'm, I'm still the same. The way I look, I'm still Charmander. Why would I be transformed into a Pokemon? You will find out! Woo! I don't understand this at all. I feel groggy and sleepy. I need more sleep. Now we can sleep. As you can see, we go right back to the bed. Let's like save your adventure! We can, since this is an emulator, it will not save. But that's fine. That's what the mystical save state button is for. Kabam! Road state one, bottom of the screen. I don't know. I don't actually know if you can see it or perhaps. We'll find out. Now, as I was saying, I actually own this game. Fun fact, I do own quite- I, I do own some of the games I Let's Play. Actually, the only one I've Let's Played that I don't own has been Mega Man, actually. And Kirby. Well, whatever. I'm feeling refreshed! I still have Pokemon, but... Oh, that's right. That Pokemon. I think it was Wyatt? Actually, it was Pikachu. We made a promise to form a rescue team together. I wonder what Wyatt is doing. I should go out. And we finally get to move. Yay! But the thing is, I own the DS version of this game. And even if I did own the Game Boy Advance version, which is the one I'm playing emulated, I don't have a way to, one, play it on the GameCube, or to record it off the TV. Huh? Oh no! So, em emulator it is. Just slowly pan around. <laughs> Sorry. I was so excited I came out here. D Dawn, the wait for you. Well, bro, uh, I like you too, but... I must have snoozed off. Anyway. Today marks the start of our rescue team. Let's always do our best. Why is she so happy all the time? But but anyway, we don't have any job offers yet. <laughs> oh yeah! Maybe there's something in the mailbox! Yes, yeah, check that damn mailbox. Great! Here you what? Check the mailbox. Contained a rescue team starter set. It's like they know. I knew it'd be here. It's the rescue team starter set. Thank you <laughs> so much. They always give you one if you start a rescue team. How many rescue teams do you start? How would you know this? Wyatt opened the rescue team starter set. There was a rescue team badge inside. Let's just give those to the Pokemon that go down into the mystery dungeons and this, there would never be a problem. There's a toolbox inside. There's also an issue of Pokemon news inside, which I don't need to read to you. Yes! There are some good things here. First off, the rescue team badge. It shows that we're a rescue team. This is the toolbox. Thank you. You use it for carrying tools. Or you can use it for carrying items, you know, because mechanics, whatever. Let's put the stuff in the let's put the stuff butterfree gave us in here for now. Items are very useful, so let's use them on our adventures. And finally, a copy of the Pokemon News. Useful for rescue teams, because apparently Pokemon have printing technology. I'll put the Pokemon news in the mailbox. You should read it later on. Anything else? Is there any other mail? Maybe not? Lobster? 
Mailbox is empty. Okay, so there isn't any mail for us after all. If there were any rescue jobs, we'd be getting mail, but... Nobody knows about us since we're so new a team, I guess. Well, we just formed yesterday afternoon. I'd say we're pretty green. That joke would actually be funny if I was playing a, um, a grass type of one. Come on, Pelper, just slowly pan your way across the screen. That'd be great. Pelper's really annoying to fight. Holy crap. Or is that just me? Oh? I wonder what it could be. Maybe it's mail! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, Nintendo, your tutorials suck. Oh my goodness, now I gotta get around him without leaving the property or he yells at me. But that's such a mailbox. Maybe it's a rescue job, maybe? Hmm, thank you. What does it say? I just read the letter. Bzz, bzz, bzz. You can go by the door. <laughs> I heard about you from Caterpie. Please, we need your help. Magna bleh, Magnamite is in trouble. A strange electromagnetic wave flowed through a dungeon. And it's stuck together, Magnemite and Magnemite. Very clever names. That isn't enough to form a Magneton. It is not complete the way it is now. Then why don't you join with them and make Magneton and we all can have a better life. Please, we need help. Bzz, 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 from Magnemite's friend. Who, guess what, is another Magnemite. What do you think? You think we should go? No, let's just fuck them. Yeah, fuck them. That's the spirit. Let's do our best. Yeah! Frame rate lag. I think that's my new catchphrase. Frame rate lag! Yeah! God damn. That's all I say in Mega Man. <laughs> the two fuckers. These are the ones that sent the letter, so. Oh! You are here! Bzz, bzz. My friends are in this cavern! Bzz, bzz. My friends should be in on basement floor 6. Please help them! Bzz, bzz. All right, let's go. Slowly get out of the way, and we'll walk in like bamboos. You know, because we're so badass. We're level six, and we're so badass. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's another orange berry. I will defeat foes using moves instead of attacks for more experience points. Choose. I've already done that. Thank you. Now, basically, this is the exact same thing we did before, just in a different dungeon. Now, since this is a new dungeon, I will play it. Any main quests like this, I will do for you. Oh, hi, Poochana. I will do on recording regular time. Ah, uh, one sec. Okay, what was I saying? I was talking about missions, right? Any, yeah, uh, any main missions like the one I'm doing right now, I will do for you in proper time. But the extra missions, I will, ex I will show you. Like, there's two different types of missions you can do in this game. One of them is. Fetch missions, which is like what we're doing, where we'll find different Pokemon. And then there are item missions. The delivery missions, and you bring items to Pokemon in case. I don't like to do those, but I will do them for you just to show them what they're like. But, so I, I will. I'll do you the. I'll, I'll show you the missions. But when, it comes, but when it comes to the future actually doing them, I know you don't want to sit here and watch me run through a cave 6,000 billion times. Especially when it's just. It's just. There's no point to it, like it's not plot related. So I will double speed them, there's my damn cat. And play music through them, so. So you can still see what I'm doing, but it's not being extremely monotonous. Now hold on one more second, my cat's being a little dick. Alright, we're back. And also, if. Whoa, what the hell? Oh my goodness. Even if these main missions get to be too monotonous, if you guys want the long ones I can speed through, I would rather not do that for the main plot missions, but. If you guys don't want to watch them, then... I mean, that's what this whole game is. Frankly, and yes, IQ, yes, I get that. That's what this, this whole game is, is missions. And there's my dog. Hello. But, I mean, if you guys would rather see them sped up and just have me focus on the plot, then I can do that. But like I said, the the extra missions will definitely be double-speeded. If you, go, if you want them out of the game, out of the Let's Play entirely, I can do that too. But I'd rather not. Anyway, I've spent enough time talking about this. Let me know what, what you want. And I will accommodate. I got the money. The money is good. Oop, even though I barely ever use this game. Gravel Rock. These are projectiles. 
Gravel rocks can be lobbed at distant foes. You set them for use under items. They are very handy, and I use them a lot. Which goes to go into items. Find gravel rocks, set it. Yeah, and it will tell you how to press L and R to throw one every single time you set one. So, whoop, pick up the apple. Apple is something you can eat when you get hungry. It's gonna throw me out of the tutorial. Up. Eating an apple or gummy fills your belly. Choose them under items in the menu to eat once before your belly gets empty. If any of you played survival games like Lone Survivor, where you have to eat or you die, it's kind of like that. You got a lot of leeway in this game, eating where eating is concerned, but if you don't eat either gummies or apples during your missions, you uh, you tend to collapse and you, you and you fail your mission. Hold B and press the directional pad to speed up movement. Oh my gosh! So you know, orange berry. Never have too many orange berries. Let's get to citrus berries. I'm actually not sure if citrus berries are even in this. I, I think they are. I don't remember, actually. Oh, there are my lovely stairs. Sorry, Nidoran. I'm heading out. Ooh, it's like a get. Eat an apple or gummy when your belly goes down, didn't? Which, oh, I just explained this! Oh my goodness. Hello, good sir. Bam. Leer. Oh my goodness. Oh, what good's my defense when you're about to die? Ha <laughs> You didn't even do anything. Why'd you level up, you jerk? Oh. Thunder wave. Yay. Yay, I leveled up. HP went up by three. Attack went up by two. Why is defense went up by one? Oh my gosh, really? Oh, thank you, game. Boop. Here we go. Bam. Thunder wave cave. Oh, electric kid. Oh, I was gonna do my gravel walk thing. There we go. Bam! So throw in a thing, looks like. And when we're hit, he's gonna hit by a kid. Hit him, do damage. If I die, I'm not gonna be pleased! Dying on the first mission would blast me this. Well, second mission, technically. But you know what I mean. Pick up the gravel rock. That'd be nice. No, no try matter. There we go. Oh, hello. Didn't see you in here last time I was around these parts. Mr. Voltorb. Uh Okay, come on. Thank you. You died. Good. Um actually. If I can get the menu to come up. Oh, thank you, Pikachu! Oh, I gotta start calling you Wyatt. I gotta start calling you by your name as I'm calling you Pikachu. Okay. Thank you, Wyatt. That was lovely of you. I was gonna eat one of those anyway. Ugh. Fucking Voltorb. Ugh. We should go like Max Repel. Great. Wouldn't that give me a rash though since I'm Pokemon? It's meant to like, you know, ward off Pokemon. Be a nasty rash. We don't wanna talk about it with the friends. And he said, so you can attack on diagonals. Usually when it's across walls like that, you miss. Like I just did. Don't really know why I did it, but I did, so. Oh, I don't care if you're charging power. I'm still gonna kill you. Bam. Now you do have power points just like in regular Pokemon. Oh, I level up. And you gotta watch out for those. I'm just kinda you. Oh, I learned Ember. Good. I'm gonna keep using Scratch though for now. Whoops. Two. Attack one up. One. Defense one up. Two. Yeah. So you, you do have power points, so you do have to watch what you use your moves on. I'm just kind of using it willy-nilly, because I mean, this is the first, one of the first dungeons you get to access. There's the telephone, you don't need to listen to the telephone. Oh, there are my stairs. And there's another item down that way, but... Oh, what the hell? But, that's fine, I'm not gonna go grab it, I wanna get out of here. Basement floor 6 is where we need to go. Bam. Oh, there they are. Get them out safely. <laughs> Pardon my snivels. Our bodies separated. This business rejoice. This business. How did we pull that off? I don't know. Yay! This business. 
Yay! Be thankful, you two! They were just thanking me! Gosh, you are our hero! Thank you! We received 500 bucks. Yeah. Also received the item Revive Receipt. Team also received the item Rustberry. Yeah. I really want to play Explorers of Time. It's another Pokemon game. It's another one of these. <laughs> it's another Mystery Dungeon, yeah. It's very fun. I'm glad our rescue mission went well today. Actually, since this was our first job as a proper rescue team. I was really tense and nervous. I'm exhausted now. I gotta go get some sleep. Let's keep up our good work tomorrow. See ya! Moving on over there. It's a weird room. Would you like to save your adventure? No, thank you, because... There's no point. Ooh. Ooh, something special. Save, save. Where? Where am I? Maybe. Is this a dream? Oh. There's someone here. Who is it? Someone I know? Hmm. I can't remember. Boating. I think I dreamt something. But I can't quite remember what that dream was about. Oh well, today's another day of rescues. I wonder if I have any mail. Better check the mailbox. Anyway, that is where we're gonna end it today. We running on living room. Yay! Normally I'm gonna I'm gonna start making these be much longer videos but today since we only got through the two the two missions it's I think the video is long enough we'll get into going into some other plot stuff some a little more tutorials and then we'll start getting into into extra missions that we do on our own to level up and stuff so let me know what you want to do about extra missions you want me to speed through you or you want me to cut them out entirely uh, and yeah that's pretty much it so, this has been Natalie my Superhero with a brand new Let's Play of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Edition. I love you all, and I'll see you next time. Bye.